Many of you are aware that you can get cheap overnight charging for your electric vehicle, but many people might not be aware that you can actually get cheap charging on rapid chargers and public infrastructure as well as just your home. And that is because many, many providers are introducing cheap off-peak electricity to public rapid chargers. And today's video, we're going to be talking about why they're doing it, how it's working, and exactly all the mechanics behind it. I have to admit that I am super surprised it's took networks this long to finally come up with an off-peak charging rate. But before we look at the networks that are doing this, let's have a look at why they are finally doing it. Electricity prices have rocketed and this means that public charges are not being used the same amounts that they were in the past when they were a lot cheaper. What this also means is that uh, the prices of rapid chargers are the same all the time at the moment and this means that people choose to only use them when they need and like the national grid that tends to be during peak our demand. So where is this reduction coming from? Well, it's actually coming from two angles. First of all, the main angle is if everyone's turning up at peak times and there's only say one charger and there's a queue of two people, three people, the third or fourth person might turn up, see the chargers busy and decide not to charge at that location at all or charge at another location. And because there is no incentive for them not to charge at peak times, the person that was already on the charger might not have needed to use the charger when they did, where the second and third person might physically have needed to use that charge at that time. So if we can shift the people that don't need the charger at that time by incentivizing them to use it at a different time, it means that we can free up the chargers. Chargers are being used more often because they can be used off peak, meaning that the network is getting more benefit from the charger because they're earning more money instead of it being sat idle. Now I mentioned before the national grid peak times and I also mentioned off-peak energy for home users at the start of the video and it's very important that I mention this because businesses in which place charge point operators in this buy energy just like me and you um, they have a little bit more information than me and you but they they buy energy just like me and you from an energy provider. Now many of them actually use Octopus Energy just like you do at home they buy from Octopus Energy and buying from Octopus Energy Octopus give the energy companies a chance to buy their energy very similar to the way you buy it in hourly or half hourly spots based on the data. Now, charge point operators have very good information on their data. They know when the charge is being used and when they need to buy that energy for. So they go to Octopus and say how much energy, roughly they know how much they need per year or per month or per, for these hours that they need. However, what they see is that they have a lot of energy on the off-peak use not being used. And Octopus know that the energy is a lot cheaper then, so they can say to the charge point operator, we can offer you this price for these hours. And if the charge point operator can make you charge at those hours, they're getting reduced costs on their place they're paying to Octopus, and you're getting reduced costs on what you're charging for energy. The benefit to the network is they have got a chance that that charger could be used during the peak times when someone actually really needs it, and the off-peak times, meaning that that charge is being utilized for as many hours as possible, and that is the golden ticket for any charge point operator. Absolute dominated use all the time for as many hours as possible. Now, the first company to announce they were doing this was Tesla, so many superchargers which are open to not just Tesla owners, but also other users, have got this discounted off-peak energy. But it's not just Tesla. If you have a Octopus Universe card, that's Octopus's charging card for Octopus customers and non-Octopus customers, you can get a 20% discount during some of the off-peak hours on off-spray chargers. So if you haven't already got one of those cards, it's maybe worth getting one and taking part in that trial that they're running on there. Now, as to why they finally decided to start doing this, then you need to see this video about the possibility of winter blackouts. 